Friends, hello again. Today I'm going to quickly discuss Simpson's Paradox and it's, manifest, it's used by anti-vax uh, people, conspiracy theorists, people I call psychopath. It's fine to have an argument on based on precaution or some uh, intellectual reasoning against vaccines, but using bad statistics <laughs> that doesn't help. Uh, and of course, they're going to use bad statistics. So the uh, the latest is my fellow, whom I think is uh, a you know a very very uh, bad fellow. Uh, his name is Alex Berenson, and he reports that the age bracket ten to sixty, ten to fifty nine, you have the vaccinated vaccinated, non-vaccinated, okay? And the vaccinated are dying at twice the rate of the non-vaccinated, okay? Does it mean that being vaccinated increases mortality? Ha, huh, no. Let's consider that the vaccinated are older and here are younger. We're talking about a huge bracket between 10 and 60. So if we break it into period, 10, 20, 40, 50, okay? You will notice in every bracket, this is a vaccinated, unvaccinated. The vaccinated may have a lower mortality. Actually, it's true, they have a lower mortality than the non-vaccinated in every single bracket. However, if you take the whole, you're going to have a higher mortality in this group. Why? Because you have an overrepresentation of the vaccinated in this group and an overrepresentation of the unvaccinated in this young group. Now, the mortality rate of a 60, 50 to 60 year old person is about two orders of magnitude higher than a 10 to 20 meaning between somewhere between, um, say, 50 to 150 times the mortality. And the vaccination rate, the 60, in that bracket, is about more than 20 times the vaccination rate here. So more generally, Simpson's paradox is known <clears throat> because often you have, say, you take two universities, in each department, each department, University A outperforms University B, but as a whole, University B may outperform University A. It's a statistical artifact, and when is it, you know, misleading? When the bracket is very large and you don't have homogeneous populations, and you have uneven distribution of the population between the two samples. Thank you for listening. Have a great uh, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Today is Black Friday. Have a great shopping day. Thank you. Bye.